that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Too much weird materials and metals in our bags, so we're holding up the whole line. Things are getting weird. We have to board this plane in 10 minutes and we're starving. Is it really in 10 minutes? No, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I think it's been like literally nine months since we booked this flight. Yeah, we started at right. the end of the... So we, uh, we just got to Wisconsin. And uh, now we gotta go find out if all our stuff made it. <laughs> Mommy wagon of death, round two. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. Last time we had black on black. This time we got a little bit of white. Okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna cover it with a little bit of blood, hopefully. I guess the black was kind of nice because you couldn't you couldn't tell. I'm gonna go back there and get a black one. <laughs> we walk, you get the hand sanitizer. He's like, I smell wine or liquor. Somebody's got liquor. I'm like, dude, hey, it's hand get, sanitizer. Before we get to the house, stop in the gas station. We get a a twelve pack, whatever. Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure, we'll get you some beer. <laughs> Here, check out this super smooth pan. <laughs> so, so we're heading uh, for like a long weekend right now to go scout. We've got like 12, 11 cameras with us or something. We have a lot of game cameras. We're gonna go out to an area that I hunted like two, was it three? Two, three years ago. Three years ago. And, uh, and we gotta order food. So anyway, we're... what's he saying? They're looking for the guy with the green shirt and the duck on the front. Oh, shit. So, we're going to this place that I hunted like three years ago, and I saw the biggest buck that I've... I've... No, like, I saw the biggest buck that probably I've ever seen. Like I had it in range-ish. It was like 60 yards, and it was kind of getting dark. I didn't feel comfortable taking that shot at the time. I felt like I needed redemption ever since, so we're going out there. It's gonna be Danny's first time. So we're just sitting here in a parking lot because it's the only place that we had signal. And we're downloading the offline maps on Hunt Stand something you can do when you don't have a lot of signal so mine just finished downloading we're heading out to the woods so we got a tip from our only wisconsin friend the deer vein podcast you should go check it out that this is the place to be in wisconsin Oops. for everything outdoors so we're here supporting local businesses because he forgot half the stuff he needs we're excited to finally get in the woods and start scouting so all right, y'all, so just leaving the parking lot. Danny's going a different direction. I'm gonna walk into this little CRP area here that uh, I sat in it once last year, or no, not last year, three years ago when I came here, and I saw a ton of sign, and I really just didn't have a lot of time to sort of explore it more. So this is the first place I'm gonna go look in, and uh, 
don't know. We'll see what I find. Base, uh, whatever I do after that on whatever I find in here. I just made it all 50 yards from the road and already kicked up a deer. I didn't see what it was, but it was a deer. So we'll definitely bed down in this stuff. So I just had a huge doe come running by me at like probably 50 yards. I think it was the same doe that I kicked out of a bed. But um, the wind's kind of blowing the same direction I'm walking right now. So I'm trying to hug the edge of uh, the property line that I can hunt. There's some private land this way. There's a cool marsh back here and there's a bunch of big trees. And I would rather hunt from a tree. So I'm basically gonna look around the areas where the trees are because I'm not really gonna be able to hunt in this shrubby stuff behind me very well unless I'm putting a stock on something so so I'm gonna go over this tree stand and by that I mean a stand of trees and look for sign over there hopefully there's some good stuff there so <clears throat> I'm in a thicket it's thick in here but there are trails going everywhere. There's deer beds everywhere. I saw a couple rubs further back that way. I haven't seen any inside of here, which makes me think that this is mostly doe bedding. But these deer are using the crap out of this area. So I'll keep cruising along until I find some, uh, some buck, buck beds with some rubs near them. But there's definitely deer here that tree and there's another one right there well this is starting to look a little more like a buck bed there's no way to hunt in here but at least i'll know bucks are bedding back here i don't know a little over a mile so far so far i've found one area that looks promising there's definitely bucks back there there's a tree island about 400 yards back from where I'm standing right now I, that I want to go check out so I'm gonna head over there um, Just through like a bunch of CRP and marshy stuff Got a good feeling about that spot um, I wonder how Danny's doing This CRP stuff sucks oh, I made it to this tree line a hellish trek. Definitely don't want to do that again. Well, as soon as I got back here, found a deer bed. If we're gonna hunt this back here, we're definitely not taking the route that I just took. That was pretty brutal. Where I'm at now, all the way around to back to the field, it's about almost a 600 yards, so it's not that bad. I'm gonna try to do that and see if I can find any sign. See these trees right here? And that's where I was trying to get to. It's only about 150 yards out, but this stuff right here. It's like quicksand. It's mud. I walked a little bit into it. Got about 20 yards in. And as soon as you get off the, the grass, you're knee deep. And trying to get stuck out there. There's really nothing to grab onto if you get into a situation or reception. So. It really sucks because the way back it's solid ground but it's still a CRP crap. Look at this. Turkey. some decent trees that I can get up into. Some more rubs over here. All along this edge of those rubs. Hoping to find some scrapes. There's a lot more tracks 
right out here in the field, right in this area. I wish I would have came here first. I wouldn't have made that stupid trek. I'm gonna go check out this back corner. So I'm putting down my first camera out here. I walked into this little strip of trees, but as I came in here, I found a huge rub. I wasn't gonna put the camera here, but as I started walking down this trail, I noticed there was a lot more fresh rubs. So I figured I'd drop this camera right here. So here's my camera. There's a lot of rubs. You see here? That looks like a relatively fresh rub. There's a scrape. I'm not sure if these are like the mineral holes. Or what the heck? But there's these two holes here. It looks like there's deer deer tracks inside the hole. There's not a bunch of sand behind it, like if something just dug this up. There's another one right here. So you have the you got the two holes and then and then you got that scrape. So I made my way to this backside of this field. Um, I went through like a little bit of a thicket on the edge of this uh, agricultural field. I got to the back side of it. And this is where I was trying to get to when I was walking around this swamp. I really wish I would have came this way first because this is much nicer on this side. There was a load of sign back out there on the field. And I'm, I'm, obviously the deers aren't like bedding down in those fields. I think they're bedded down in, in this stuff back here. Back behind me, there's a swamp back there. All right, so I'm at this tree island right now. I haven't found a ton of sign, like not, nothing that leads me to believe that there's like a big buck, but there's definitely a well-used trail that goes further back into the marsh here. And, uh, and there's some decent trees, some good cover, uh, potential place to set up. So, um, if there's a predominant west wind, which is typical around here, this spot, uh, would have good wind. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a little tree stand icon on the map here, but I'm gonna turn it a color, let's say yellow, and then all the tree stands that have good wind uh, when it's blowing west, I'll make yellow that way. We come out here to hunt in a few weeks, uh, whatever the wind is doing, I'll know which tree stands I can pick from. I got a preset hung up in this tree. Should be able to shoot this whole little corridor. Like I said, I just had a feeling that deer were moving through here. And as I was setting up that preset, I walked a little further back. Boom. That's a rub. A real rub. There's a good buck hanging out, probably bedding back there, coming through here. So this might be a really good spot. Let's find out. I'll see you in a few weeks. Danny's heading into the woods with like 75 pounds of crap. Uh, he's braver than I am. I just don't feel like doing it right now. I'm feeling a little bit sick. In Wisconsin, you're allowed to spotlight uh, deer at nighttime, but you can only do it if you have no weapon in the car. So I just took my bow out and I stashed it in the bushes. And uh, while Danny's walking in right now, I'm gonna go drive around. There's some uh, cornfields and stuff around here. Um, and I'm just gonna spotlight a little bit, see what I can see. And then when it gets light, I'm gonna go out and scout a little bit. 
just really didn't feel like climbing up a tree this morning but I still want to be productive if I can. Spotted two bucks, so that's nice. Bunch of does. Uh, and it seems like the deer around here are kind of secretive about where they like to hang out. It doesn't seem like they uh, huh, hang out in these crop fields around the morning. It seems like they kind of creep back into the woods. So that's where I'm going. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna head back out to the area that I started in yesterday. Saw a few deer in there. Saw a lot of beds, so I'm gonna go across the canal. Got my waders on. Let's go see if we can find some elusive bucks. What do you think lives in there? So, I tried to cross that creek. No way in hell, even with waders. I didn't even make it to the water. I sunk so far into the mud I couldn't move. I had to crawl out. So, I would guess, there's probably a giant buck back there. Oh. There's a pretty nice rub right there. We are switching it up. We're going into spotlight mode. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go spotlight these fields because we heard that's how you're supposed to find the deer out here. Also because we can't seem to figure them out any other way, so we're cheating. <coughs> we're heading out here and uh, we're gonna see if we can find some deers close to so the uh, public land preferably bucks big bucks that we can target during the day yep that's the plan and if we see some and there's public land really close by who knows maybe we'll get wild go put up a camera somewhere Danny has become a believer. There are deer here, a lot of them. We've spotted uh, seven. Sub substantial amount of. Seven shooters, like definite shooters. And then a bunch of last day shooters. And uh, a crap ton of does. And one, maybe two. Giants. <laughs> trophy bucks. They look like baby cows. Camera's out before our flight. And it's been raining the whole time. It's pretty exciting. We're soaked. <laughs> it's but fun. With that said, I think we have these cameras in pretty good spots. And even if we don't, these cameras aren't going to do any good, you know, laying at home. Yeah. So think, we're, we're literally going like, you know, 50 to 100 yards off the road and putting them up. And if we get nothing, we get nothing. But, you know, some of the best spots that we hunt, we found doing something like this. So. All right, y'all, so it's our first night here in Wisconsin, and uh, we're going out to grab a bunch of cameras and uh, spotlight some fields. We saw a bunch of bucks in these fields last time we were here, so we're just gonna kind of see if they're still hanging out and uh, see what kind of activity we've got. Hopefully they're kind of rutting a little bit and uh, 
start coming up with a game plan for tomorrow. Light over here. Stay tuned. So uh, we just had a bit of a weird encounter. We we're uh, checking cameras, you know, at nighttime because we're trying to be as efficient as possible. We mm -hmm. we yeah. just got here. I'm a hunter. And mm -hmm. uh, some guy pulled up, started being a creep, hanging out behind us, and uh, started telling me that uh, he thought we were doing illegal stuff. And he called the game warden and whatnot. So anyway, we're not doing anything illegal. So we're just um, we just kind of ignored him. He's still back there, kind of. Well, I don't see him now, but Just creeping around. Game warden hasn't come yet, so clearly the game warden doesn't really seem to care that much. But we're checking cards. Hopefully, we got something good. Just out here doing illegal stuff. With all these lights. How can you tell if somebody's doing something illegal? Hey, hold on. Should we get the SD card? In case. Well, you want to just change it? Yeah, because it might be a good spot to leave the uh, camera. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure we walked down that side over there. 